Well, language futures uh, works currently with two very distinct models. One is where the school sets it up as part of the curriculum. So we call that model in curriculum, obviously. The second model is where it's an after school option. So this is provision for languages, serious provision, but nevertheless after schools. With some of the primary schools we've been working with, that can be before school, with secondary it's, all, it's usually after school. It's important to remember that we're talking about small groups. These are not 30 pupils, these are self-selected groups of pupils. In curriculum, clearly it has advantages. For example, if you're timetabled, you're going to be there. Um, so the, the notion of dropout from pupils isn't really an issue. An after-school model um, sort of is freer and, and that we have found talking to the teachers involved gives them a, a breath of fresh air in some ways in that they don't feel under pressure to be, to be recording progress even though they'll have a view about progress. Learning a language is a really, it's a, it's a really serious thing to undertake and it's hard, but it's deeply rewarding, so that's what we hope they're finding.